Once you begin a measurement, you can choose from seven different path types. Each pause point allows you to select a path type, and you can switch between them during measurement or adjust them afterward. Straight line is the default path type. It connects two pause points with a straight line no matter the actual path you take. This is useful for measuring direct distances while navigating around obstacles. Unlike straight line, trace line captures the exact path your motion device takes between pause points. This makes it ideal for accurately measuring curved or complex shapes with accuracy. The points path type records elevation data at each pause point without connecting them with lines. It is essential for accurately measuring volume. After measuring the perimeter, switch to points to capture as many elevation changes as needed. Use a spiral pattern for circular areas or a zigzag pattern for rectangular ones to ensure full coverage and accuracy. Points can also be used as an added layer to record elevation changes separately without altering the original perimeter. Moja records elevation at every pause point, but you must select points for an accurate volume measurement. Ignore line will ignore the measurement between two pause points, leaving only a point in your measurement. This is essential for adding layers to your measurement and for moving within a measurement without drawing extra lines, allowing you to start a new shape separately. Wall path is a more efficient and quicker way to measure walls. Place the measure without the stick against a wall to capture the plane. You don't need to stop at each corner as wall path will extrapolate them for you. If an obstacle is in your way and you need more time to reach the other side, place the measure on the ground with the LED facing up. This will automatically switch to ignore line and ignore that point. Once placed back on the wall, it resumes the measurement. To capture an arc, measure at least three points, a start, middle and end. Mosher first draws a line to the second point, but then snaps an arc to the third. For larger curves, add more points as needed to improve accuracy and maintain the correct shape. To create an S-shaped curve, insert a small straight line segment between two arcs before switching back to arc to start the next curve. To measure a circular shape, use the circle path to capture at least three points along the edge without returning to the starting position. Capture the points in a triangular grid pattern for better accuracy. The app will automatically generate the best fit circle. For larger circles, capturing more points will further improve accuracy. Understanding and selecting the right path type ensures the most accurate measurements for your project. Use pause points to plan your next path type, especially when working around obstacles or complex terrain.